I'm back. So I'm having trouble with my internet, so I'm ending up having to take my computer down to the library and upload videos there because it takes forever at the house. So um, I'm probably going to end up um, downloading several videos all at once. Um, I'll be sure and number them so you can get them in order. So you won't see hear from me for a while and then all of a sudden I'll, I'll throw them all at once. So that said, here we are in the breeding shed. Everybody that was in sick bay is gone. Um, all of my cold birds are sold except for my last two girls here. These are non-breeders. And I just put their kind of list to add back up again. It had expired. I was wondering why I didn't get any hits on it. So these girls are waiting to go. And then I have these four pairs down here breeding. This is Bond. And... Remington. Now, I usually don't split up pairs, but Remington and Razzle have been together twice in the breeding shed. And both times I've had trouble with rickets in their babies. And on top of that, when I put them out in the big flight, they don't st stick together. Um, Razzle goes off and does his own thing. So, I thought, what the heck. I'll give her to Bond. Um, Breezy just had an incident with her health. So, she may not be breedable anymore. Um, if she makes a... A full recovery then I can always give put her and bond back together again um, late in the spring um, after giving him a rest after this so um, I had some troubles because of course we started early and the minute I put them in here we started getting freezing weather and once you get down below about 40 degrees the hens just can't keep the, the eggs warm enough for them to develop normally so um, Remington and mist this is mist and Neptune who has dived into the box. Um, both had three eggs in the nest. Um, then we had a freeze and they died. I of course watched the eggs for a while and determined that they were not developing normally. <clears throat> so, um, so I pulled those eggs. They both laid a few more eggs. Um, and I also insulated the box, as you can see they're wrapped with insulation. They also, underneath them, I put a piece of that warm fuzzy blanket down there, a little square of it, and then covered it with insulation on the bottom and duct taped it all around so that when they sit on the bottom of the box, the wood will get warm and stay warm instead of the heat wicking away every time a cool draft rolls by. <clears throat> So, and of course we've had freezing, well not freezing, but um, down in the 30s every night for weeks now. Um, but I just candled them yesterday and we do seem to have live embryos. Um, Remington is the one I'm worried most about. Her embryos are looking a little strange. Um, one of them I'm pretty sure is not going to make it. There may be two others that are looking questionable. So she may end up with only one chicken there. Um, there's Neptune. Neptune seems to have grown. He looks bigger than he used to. He's taller. Um, and Mist is on two of her own. She's on four eggs. Three of them are her own. One of them has fizzled. Two of them are developing normally. And she's also sitting on one of Limey and Marine's eggs, a Texas clear body egg. Limey and Marine were up here getting a medication and they bred and Marine laid two eggs and one of them was viable and I, and um, Mist is raising it. So she has three viable embryos under there and they're getting big. They're darkening up their egg properly now. So um, that's a good thing. Um, this is Bubba and his Narcissa who's a first timer is on four eggs with good fertility and this is Mars and his Athena, nice way that those names ended up, huh? Um, and his Athena is on four eggs and they have good fertility. Um, they are behind the other two. Let's see, hatch dates. I'm supposed to start, according to my chart here for Bond and Remington, I'm supposed to start watching for chicks on the 21st. I don't think that's going to happen, but maybe the 23rd. Um, on um, Neptune Mist, I'll be looking for chicks on the 23rd. And that's a rough estimate because, of course, we lost the first eggs and I don't even know exactly when the eggs that are still thriving were laid. Um, this is for the Texas Clear Body egg. So, the hash date, there were two of them, but one fizzled. So, the hash date is either the 27th or the 29th. Um, those are what's in Mist's box. And, um, Let's see, this is Bubba and Narcissa. 
or cool days of 26. So I haven't written an estimated hatch date on there yet. Let's take a look. Um, so the first egg was laid on 214. So if we look up here on our hatch chart, we look for February 14th. And we look over here and it says it will hatch on March 4th. So that's our estimated hatch date. And it's the same. I gotta put this down for a minute. And it's the same for both pairs because they both laid on the same day. Okay, so we're all caught up on our charts. And things are looking good, so I'm excited. I, um, um, I'm hopeful that um, I'm, they're managing to keep their eggs warm enough because of the extra insulation on the boxes. Um, remind me next year not to do this. <laughs> Don't try and start early. Of course, the reason I started early really was because Remington and Mist here were going to make put, send themselves into a um, decline trying to find a nest or starting to drop eggs in the big flight and that kind of thing. So I kind of had to put them in here. <clears throat> but um, our door breeders, it doesn't work well unless uh, if temperatures get too low. Below, They say below 40 and I believe it. They also say above 90. I don't believe that. I think they do fine if they get a little above 90. But the minute you get below 40, things get difficult um, if you don't have any artificial heat. So, but like I said, I seem to have some good development going here, so I'm happy. All right, so that's what's happening in the breeding shed.